The coastal wolves of British Columbia are one of the most endearing animals in North America. As part of a small group of filmmakers, we seized upon a unique opportunity to observe one particular pack of these beautiful animals on the west coast of Vancouver Island. A two-week rain-soaked and windswept expedition eventually rewarded us with some calm seas, west coast sun, and incredible encounters with these resilient, playful wolves. This adventure began with a large amount of camera equipment being squeezed in the back of a very small plane. A scenic flight and an unusual landing on a secluded beach delivered us to this remote and wild location. Our small group of fellow videographers established a modest base camp on the edge of the sand, barely shielded from the strong Pacific winds that have shaped the west coast of Canada for over a millennia. Small tent-like photography blinds are used to shield us from the weather and the immediate attention of wildlife. Our cameras are prepped and positioned, ready for the group to begin documenting the elusive coastal wolf. They're incredibly shy. They're incredibly charismatic and gentle. It's kind of a very emotional experience to be this close to these wolves and you want them to dictate the encounter. So you park yourself in one spot day after day, sitting here from dark to dark. They know we're here, but we're trying to reduce our movement, our noise, our talking. We want them to be able to smell us, to know every time they come around that corner that we're not in some unique new spot. And um, then you let them relax into you and you don't push them. Coastal wolves are found in the remote temperate rainforests of British Columbia. They are highly intelligent and social animals, adapting to their geographical location, living between the forest and the sea, with a distinct set of evolutionary behaviors unique only to them. One of the reasons the coastal wolves, and subsequently us, were drawn to the specific location was due to the abundance of food that was provided from the carcass of a dead sperm whale. Washed up on shore sometime before our arrival, this once magnificent mammal has now become an incredibly important source of nutrition for the local wildlife, including the pack of wolves that we're documenting. However, the whale's remains aren't the only source of food in the area. Coastal wolves are beachcombers, with seafood making the vast majority of their diet, differentiating them from inland wolves. They forage through the kelp and the seaweed, consuming barnacles, mussels, limpets, chitons, dead marine mammals, and salmon, anything they can scavenge. It's a tough existence in a hostile, albeit beautiful environment. Coastal wolves aren't the only animals to roam these shores. Black bears have been exploring all over Vancouver Island for the past 10,000 years, and this area is no exception. Wandering down by a beach at low tide, this black bear was on the look for an easy meal, unfazed by the presence of a film crew captivated by its presence. The black bear's biggest predator, of course, is us. This striking animal, along with coastal wolves, are both under threat from trophy hunters. Even though coastal wolves are genetically different to the gray wolf, under British Columbia's Provincial Wolf Management Plan, it is still legally allowed for sport hunters to kill coastal wolves. It's shameful to think the animals you see here could already be someone's trophy. As filmmakers, the message we hope to share is one of admiration for an animal deserving of more positive support and attention. Our hope is that these images we share will inspire people to take notice, to learn more about the coastal wolves, their ecosystems, behaviors, and threats. Understanding is the key to their conservation. When photographing any animal, the first thing you need to do is understand their behavior. You need to look, watch, and learn to try and predict what they're doing so that you can be ready to take the image when you know what's gonna happen. Slowly, we've learned to understand what they're actually doing and also gain their trust, because they know we're here, but as long as we're not interfering, they accept us and then we can photograph them. I love the opportunity to show people wolves in rain and stormy conditions, because they're out all year and um, they're really such a dynamic animal to pursue. They're just fun to, to try and track and follow and figure out and we'll, we'll move our camp if we have to to try and stay with them and learn from them and that sort of thing. Throughout every type of weather British Columbia could throw at us, we were frequently visited by these incredible animals, bearing witness to their complex social structure, hunting methods, and a chorus of howling. Quietly sitting shoulder to shoulder for 15 hours a day, 
We watched as the next generation of coastal wolves developed the skills they will need to survive in the wilds of British Columbia. We observed a breeding pair of alphas along with their eight young pups. Six other adults were also present in the same pack. As with most wolf species, the adults worked together raising the young. The pups were followed close by the adults, but were starting to gain distance, becoming more independent and learning to forage. When watching these gentle pups, it's easy to see where our beloved domestic dogs have evolved from, with their ancestors having similar qualities and playfulness. Early in the morning, especially one female, we see her coming out and digging into a huge lump of kelp with all the steam coming off and then she rolls around in it. It's like, it's like she's taking a warm bath and she seems to be doing this very regularly. It's, it's, a, it's a wonderful thing to watch. We're using our photography, our cameras, our storytelling to make that connection with these animals. Are they the big bad wolf? No, they're incredibly beautiful, spiritual, thoughtful, charismatic, caring, gentle animals. And you can only do that through beautiful filmmaking or photography where you give people an intimate look into the eyes and the soul and the hearts of these animals that they'll otherwise never get. People have to understand how fragile these wolves are, how fragile their ecosystems are. It's like discovering a unique tribe that has never been discovered before. You know, they exist on these islands and they, they work harder than any other species trying to scratch out a living, trying to survive. Spending time in the secluded region of British Columbia's coastline, we bear witness to a stunning natural beauty, an unspoiled wild west coast inhabited by some of Canada's most iconic species. With each tide and sunset that frames this wild landscape, a unique and breathtaking moment is ready to be captured on camera. As filmmakers, we get our reward not just from witnessing these unique wildlife moments, but in sharing them with others that don't have the same privilege. Our images tell a story of a balanced but threatened ecosystem and gives us the opportunity to reflect on the consequences of our own actions. We need to maintain this balance so future generations of coastal wolves can thrive without fear from human interference and also so future generations of humans can appreciate them with the respect that they have earned. We must listen to the call of the coastal wolves.